Building an AI app is actually a lot simpler than you think. In this video, Cutbenders, we're gonna learn how to build this app. It's a simple AI chat app. And in my opinion, this is the best app to start your AI journey. The technology that we're gonna use is Next.js. It's a super popular web framework used by a lot of companies. And then we're gonna use the OpenAI API. This is the creators of ChatGPT. It's the most popular AI API that is available out there. To build an app like this, you first need a catchy idea because we don't wanna build just a boring AI chat app that has no personality. Be a little bit more original. Pick a character and make the chatbot based on that. You can pick Elon Musk, Lex Friedman, Alex Formosi, David Goggins, Habib Nurmagomedov, Andrew Tate, Putin, Trump, Sam Altman, Einstein, Asim Hakim, Mr. Beast, Mike Tyson, or even fictional characters like Goku, Naruto, Mikasa, Batman, The Last Code Bender. I'm gonna obviously pick our hero, The Last Code Bender. Next, you wanna think about the architecture. And for a project like this, the architecture is very simple. It's basically three blocks. You have the front end, so that's all the visuals that you can see when you look at the app. Then that front end is gonna make a request to the internal API, build with Next.js. And the role of this API is just to add extra context to the prompt so that it's very specific to the character that we're building the chat with. And then from that internal API, we're gonna make a call to an external API and that's gonna be OpenAI GPT model. And then that AI is gonna respond and that response is gonna be sent back to the front end. Next, let's start building the app. So I like to think from a top-down approach. So I start at the top level of the app, and then I go deeper step-by-step step to understand what's happening. And here we're gonna start at the page level, that's the highest level, and you see that, so you have a bunch of HTML, you have the image here, which is the logo at the top, this is basically the header, and then we have a chat component. And the chat, basically like the name says, this is the main component of this app. So we're gonna enter the chat, and we're gonna see what's happening down there. And here you see again, you have this return and you have a couple of things happening. We have this render response function that is not defined yet. We're going to define it together. And then you have a form with an input. So the form is what you see at the bottom. This is where the user like sends a question to, to the last code vendor. And the render response is most likely going to be where all the, the chat is appearing. So the first thing that we're going to do here is that we're going to use a very popular AI library called, basically it's just called AI actually. It was built by Vercel, which are the creators of Next.js. And this package is very powerful. It makes it super easy to build an app like the one we see right now. So I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna import the different functions that this package offers. And you see that there's a messages array which is gonna contain all the messages of the chat. There's an input variable which is the input that the user is writing like right now. There's a handler for that input and then there's a handler for the submit which sends it back to the AI. Then we're gonna define the function which is the render response. This is the main thing that we want right here. We wanna basically show the chat conversation. So this is what this function does. It maps the array of messages, and then it returns just one by one all the messages. That's basically what it does. And then there's a little bit of formatting. There's like an image to show like the avatars, and then it just shows the content of the array. That's it, nothing complicated here. And then the extra add-on that we're gonna add is the last part is this scroll function. What we're gonna do is we just wanna automatically scroll down as the chat gets longer than the viewport so that the text is always within the, the view of the user. And that's basically it. This is the chat component. So with this, our UI is ready. And what you see is happening right now is that this use chat from the AI library is calling this API. This is this internal route that we have is slash API slash open AI. So now this is the time to look into how this API route is defined. So let's move into the API route. And you see this is the skeleton. We're importing open AI. We're importing a bunch of things from the AI library again. We're defining an open AI client. So you just specify like you do new open AI and then you specify your API key. And that's it, very simple, it's defined. Here we set the runtime to edge. So this is just make sure that the API runs faster when we deploy on Vercel. It's very nice like for your side projects, if you wanna deploy apps like this. Apps that are built on Next.js, they're super easy to deploy on Vercel, literally like one, two minutes, and then that's it, you have your app that is deployed. And that's very nice. Now we're entering into the actual handler of the API, and this is this function right here. So it's gonna be a post request. And the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna extract the messages from the, the request. That's the first thing. And once we have the messages, we can use them to send them to OpenAI. And you're gonna use this syntax. So you do openai.chat.completions.create. And inside of the create, you're gonna specify a bunch of parameters. So we specify the model that we're gonna use. We're using GPT-4 for this. At, at this date, this is the best model that we have available. Then you have messages. This is where we're gonna add all the messages that we're gonna send to the AI. You put streaming to true so that the response can be streamed. Streaming just makes the result a lot more smooth, right? Like when the user sees the answer appearing from the AI, it's gonna appear character by character. Instead of just waiting 10 seconds for the full like result to appear as a block, here is gonna appear in a very smooth way. 
and then we said the temperature which creates like some variability in the answer now we're going to add we're going to populate the messages array and the first thing they want to do is want to specify a systems prompt so the systems prompt is basically we tell the ai how it's supposed to behave overall throughout the flow of the conversation and here if we want to build a chatbot for the last code bender this is basically what i say you are the last code bender you're a unique individual who has unlocked the ability to read the code of the matrix and shape it at will you're a hero and an inspiration for millions you address people as your students you always reply in an epic and badass way you go straight to the point and your replies are under 500 characters so the ai right now that we have created is going to always follow or is going to try to follow to the best of its abilities the system prompt that we have specified but then you also need to specify also like the exact requests that the user has made and that's where we're going to send like the messages that are coming from the request we're going to add it and we're going to send it each time to open ai once we're doing this we need to handle the response so we're going to literally just return it right here and that's it we're going to use the open ai stream because this is basically a handler from the ai dependency and this is going to allow us to stream the response and that's it we have built the front end now we have built our internal api and the last part like the last block of the architecture was the open AI api which already exists that, that was built by open ai so our app works and now if i just open it and I say something like what's up is it going to reply whatever the last code bender replies and you can ask anything you want like uh, how to learn uh, javascript and then it tells me if you want to learn javascript you must embark on a journey of relentless study and practice okay it says a bunch of things let me ask give me a concrete roadmap And then it starts like spitting out basically a full roadmap. So that's it. This is your very first AI project. Keep building more of them and you're going to become a true code bender. If you want to help building those AI apps or you want to go to the next level and build even more apps, I actually have a private network group. It's like a private bootcamp that I've created where I teach beginners how to build their first AI projects and how to build more advanced projects. I give template codes, tutorials, 10 different AI app ideas that you can build. They're very unique. You also have access to me, so you can ask me questions. I can help you build your projects, help you debug, help you get unstuck. So if you're interested, go to lastcombat.com slash bootcamp, and I'll see you there. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. The channel has been growing nicely. We started at like 10 subscribers at the beginning of the week. I was actually at 10 subscribers for a while, and then we ended the week with 300 subscribers. So it's really nice to see this growth. We'll catch up in the next video, and you can watch this one next if you want a full roadmap on how to become an AI developer.